In this video, we will turn this boring and weak kingdom of Ukraine into this based and strong Ukrainian national state. And Russian state is gonna be our puppet. So, Ukraine. Ukrainians of the world, unite. The Brot Frieden. Another name of slavery. Oh my god, it has finally happened. Kyiv German garrison recalled. So Schnitzel is finally leaving Kyiv after 20 years of occupation since 1918. Yeah, that was a long-term occupation of our capital, of our bright capital Kyiv. So it's time to act. Goodbye, German soldiers. Russophiles announced support for Skoropadsky. The most interesting thing is that Russophiles are mainly represented and situated in the state army of Ukraine, because most of them are officers from the Russian Imperial Army. Oh my god, if Savinkov makes everything right, this campaign is gonna be so juicy. I just realized that it is gonna be a fight between two warsts. Ukrainian worst against Russian worst. Sankov, make it please, I wanna see a Russian state against Ukrainian state. And in this war, of course, Ukrainian state is gonna win. Oh well, goodbye Baltic schnitzel. Belarus has also decided to act in a pretty interesting way, you know? Bro, why don't you want to leave Rex Pact? Seriously. I wanna take my Moser and Pinsk back. Um, German Empire condemns the coup. No, 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 Schnitzel. We're still loyal to the Germany, at least for now. For example, Belarus is also loyal to you, so shut up. Um, oops, storming of the royal palace. Is this the birth of new Ukraine? Hell yeah. Also forgot to mention, boys, that Ukrainian military organization is de facto a local organization of Ukrainian nationalists, which has existed in the real life. Okay, we will establish coalition with totalists. We dislike all of those goddamn socialists, syndicalists, another, another, another social democrats, but totalism, that's another question. Coalition between totalists and national populists. Hell yeah, entertaining. Now that became even more interesting because right now that's coalition between paternal autocrats, national populists and totalists. The worst of Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. Now we're gonna be known as the Ukrainian sovereign United State. What about our relations with Germany? We must become completely free of any German influence, because we were fighting for the real Ukrainian independence from Schnitzel and other states too. So that's Ukrainian state with the base color. Now we are waiting for our Russian friend to change color and change the state rule. Oh my god, this icon is so freaking based. The worst of Ukraine. I really like it. And that's our worst, Evgen Konovalis. Who reminds me Savinkov. Now you probably understand why. God damn, does all of those national populist dictators look the same? Germans demand strict guarantees. We can agree to that, but we demand their guarantees as well. Cause fighting against the Germans isn't a good idea. So we signed Treaty of Dresden. Now we're finally free in October 1936. Thanks God they agreed on that. I guess that the greatest banger of Kaiser Redux is coming. Because we see the rise of worst in Russia. Kiev against Petrograd. Or Moscow if they decide to change their capital. Wait, Savinko is influence? I wanna search it. The Savinkoists in Russia are claimed to be great Russian chauvinists, but we know that we can borrow some useful economic and political ideas from them. So our Ukrainian state isn't as far away from Russian state as you can think. Sheesh, man, they definitely looks the same. Konovalets is just younger than Savinkov. What about our new Ukrainian flag? Man, I really like it. As a some kind of designer, I can approve it. Scotch, 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 и все проблемы быстро решены. Scotch, scotch, scotch. <coughs> that should terrify us, because Russia announces her ambitions. 
and her soldiers are working on this picture. Ukrainian woman in struggle for nation. Okay, woman can struggle for nation. I agree with that. But after saving Ukrainian independence, they must get back to the kitchens. Worst is Ukraine. Ukraine is worst. Eh, Azov Stal. Rest in peace. Uh, 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 um, how did you become a New York commune? Who the hell wanted to become a commune in New York City? Show me those people who wanted to establish New York City commune. Hmm, Aristovich. Alexei Nikolaevich, we already here. While well, well, the whole Europe is plunged into chaos, and especially Eastern Europe, we need to start acting and expanding our great Ukrainian state. We are still staying neutral, but now it has more than 120 divisions. And our great army is the main reason why we can finally start to act. And the first step of our frame policy is gonna be demanding of Helm from Poland. Um, our ultimatum was denied, but we will back down and wait a little. So at any moment now we can attack Poland. But that's not the end of our expansion, cause the next step is going to be set sail to Ackerman. So the whole Bessarabia will finally come back home. Even if Belarus doesn't exist anymore, we can still try to demand their lands from Germans. Oh and hey, hello Romania, glad to see you, we will claim Bessarabia. And of course we will demand all of Bessarabia, not only the coastline, province, um, they agreed. Finally, Ukrainians will be freed from Romanization. That's the first major success of Ukrainian foreign policy. Wow. Now I just need to integrate all that stuff. The same we can do about Kuban, and of course we can try to size West Ukrainian lands too. Demand Belarusian Polisia, um, which is under Russian control, but maybe Germans will give it to me. Maybe. Bro, you don't even control that, so what's the problem to give it to me? They denied our ultimatum again. Fuck. Maybe we will get at least Kuban? Let's try. And at the same time we will demand West Ukraine. Hmm, let's start negotiations with Austrian Empire. W -w wait what? They gave us Kuban? Seriously? Bro, ain't no way they gave us not only Kuban, but... Um, now we've got access to the Caspian Sea. We received Everson except Kalmykia, um, North Caucasian Imamate, and a small part of the Don Kuban Union on the east. Holy shit! Austrian terms to give us just a part of Eastern Galicia as shit, because they want to provide Polish autonomy, white Polish autonomy, and they won't give us even Lviv. So, no, we won't agree on that scene. When I said to give me all my rightful lands, Austrians had agreed. Uh, Austria, you're weird, you're really weird. So, we got the whole Eastern Galicia, as well as North Bukovina. Of course, between prefer common leadership, bruh, and the worst principle, we will choose the worst principle, cause we trust in our worst, and we believe him. Brudas, in 1942 I finally realized what do I need to do in this campaign. First step, together with the Russian state, yes, together with Sankov, we're going to destroy German Empire and Austrian Empire as well. Then we will go and fight one by one against rule of Petrograd. After that we will understand who is the boss of this gym, Russians or Ukrainians. Now we're going to attack Poland and Galicia Lodomere at the same time. Russians are fighting only against Reichspakt, but I'm gonna fight against the Austrian Empire and their alliance too. That's gonna be sick and crazy. We will conquer everything that we want to. Neither Austrians, neither Germans won't stop us. And less than a month, both Polish and Austrian front lines have collapsed. Oh yeah, baby, Warsaw is liberated by Ukrainian forces. Minus eight Hungarian divisions, amazing. And one huge encirclement in Transylvania. So good, so juicy. In the next months, brave Ukrainian forces have liberated Budapest. To be honest, everything is going great. Wait a second, Russians decided to join the so slavery sphere of Japan. Wait, what? Savinkov, 
Are you crazy? What did you do? Finally, Austria has capitulated. And that all is mine. Oh, come on, he long won the second American Civil War being as the leader of the Pacific States of America. Bro is doing everything and choosing every single faction just to win something. And by the way, Germany has almost capitulated. No, 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 you, you are not serious, Ottoman Empire. They were in Reichspakt and then they decided, well, if Reichspakt collapsed, um, maybe we join and send? Hell no, man, I'll give it to Russia. Okay, not to me, to Russians. But this piece of shit won't take me in war against Entente too. I'm already fighting against the Reichspakt, the Nubian Federation. I'm gonna fight against the Soul Slavery Sphere and the Russians at the same time, and they want me to fight against Entente too. I don't want to fight against every single major faction in our today's campaign. I have formed a lot of puppets around me which won't take part in war with Russia cause who needs to involve them? Well, except Belarus and Lithuania, I'm going to involve them into this war. In 14 days we are starting our new war, war against the Russian state. Sounds like a joke, but anyway, the Ukrainian sovereign United State declared war on the Russian state. So we have switched sides. <laughs> oh my god, minus around 20 divisions in Estonia. A truly happy end for Entente. Oh my god, Russia, please capitulate. I'm really tired to fight against those huge states. Um, and Entente is doing really amazing stuff here in Europe too. J -j -j July 1944, Russian state has capitulated. The fate of Russia. We will separate Siberia from Russia. Oh yeah, and that's Russian state and that's Siberia. Now everything is fine with it. Interesting fact, before that Savinkov was a worst of Russia, now he's just a prime minister. And I don't know why, but democracy is back to Russia. And now they use Ukrainian coat of arms as the Russian coat of arms. Sometimes mix of the Russian nationalism, Ukrainian nationalism and all of that stuff makes game really impressive. Uh, what about Kazakhstan and Karelia? Who cares about them, really?